Hey, hello there, it's Marlene here and today I am going to show you how you can make a pretty simple magma cream farm. Well, in most of the cases you see that there is a very huge platform with a lot of climb chunks and observers repeating them and yeah. Uh, well actually that those are very big and they also take a lot of time but today I am going to show you how you can easily quite easily get yourself a lot of magma cream. I had to grind for it I mean it was so nerve wracking that I had to search for a method for so long and I still couldn't find one and in the end I got out with one other method which is actually not directly giving you magma creams you craft it but this farm actually will give you all the resources you need so over here what you can see is a portal I mean a lot of portals there is no redstone over here just a portal and what hap what is in the exact middle of it is a spawner a blaze spawner which makes the blaze the, that all the blazes that spawn will come over here and then go to the overworld and over there is a kill chamber which i'm going to show you later and yeah the efficiency is also the same the efficiency doesn't get reduced and make sure that uh, you don't have a free space underneath that make sure that you have a level of blocks under the spawner and nothing will happen and by this time a lot of spawner i mean a lot of blaze gods have already been going to the overworld so what you can get do is uh, ask for your friend for a bit of help to come over here and afk i have an afk point over here with a second where is it ah it took me some while but anyways um your friend will come over here and then ask him to stand over here and just um un i mean lock this door and then just ask you over here do nothing just ask you over here and this is also outside the spawning area of the spawner and so it will not affect the productivity so if he just stands over here all the blazes will be keep keep on spawning and then they will keep on getting teleported to the overworld and here's how okay so for this farm you actually need to get yourself a blaze spawner which i already told you before and here's what you do first you make sure that there is nothing underground the spawner make sure make be double check about it because after that i'm um, really going to be a lot of trouble but anyways after you get a spawner um you, it can be of any side you want like this or also from this way but anyways i will be picking on this area over here like this and one two three place four obsidians over here and then one two three four more over here and after that um keep a one block gap and then place five obsidian blocks like this uh one two three four five and then again a space gap and in the middle place one two three obsidian over here like this and also same for this side and then for this side and after that what you are going to do is um, place some more of placement blocks just like this mm -hmm. like this which is where the um, blaze rods will i mean the blaze will blazes will spawn like this it is actually a 4x4 diamond and just like this and what happens after that is you make obsidian portals over here one two three it can be three blocks high no problem just three blocks you can also just remove these areas i mean those obsidians over here like this one over here and then three and yeah obsidians are almost uh, easy to get if you have completed the end ones but anyways you can also get yourself a lot of obsidian if you have efficiency 5 and a beacon ah. okay so um over here actually what you are going to be doing is place 
yeah over here if you place a uh, obsidian over here like this the nether portal will still open and the spawner will still spawn blazes at these areas okay so like this and then you can remove that over there and then also like this and i, I will also be not skipping this side i mean how i do it because you should you know see how i am doing these portals all of them and it's there are a lot of ways in which you can mess up so i'm going to be showing you the entire process of it just like this the way i am showing you over here and then what happens after this is you um just uh yeah it's pretty much simple just cover these areas over here over here there and then there and yeah this, these areas as well it's pretty i advise you to do it so that other mobs from the upside don't come uh, that might break the farm mm, the chances are low because you are going to be killing them anyways no matter what the mob you can kill all mobs in minecraft so um this is how you are going to be doing it and then what you are going to be doing is come over here there there that one that one that one and then come over here with that one and then you know, block this block of fire i mean block this space with the block of fire all right um this one is more on the trial and error process but first you go inside like this and then they spawn you over all right so um you get spawned over this area i mean this side so it's always going to be on this side so what we're going to be doing is um they are going to be spawning over here they won't spawn over here so what you can do is set up an afk farm over, i mean an afk spot over here like this wait a second get yourself a door of any type because the ops, i mean the blazes can't see you anyways ah i got teleported anyways um come over here and then ask your friend to ask you over here and you might also be thinking i can just make another um uh, i mean using those pistons and other stuff well you can do that but i have my own design over here you can use this if you want to actually this is pretty much up to you if you have a much more i mean if you have a planned data and you don't want to come out in and out the nether portal of the realm you in the in the realm you play so yeah this is a best this is a very nice farm that you can use you can just ask for your friend to afk over here or do something like fishing afk fishing oh no you can't afk fish anyways i mean you get the point you just ask your friend to ask you over there and what you do is okay. um, so um that was the process over how you do that and then um when you come inside the farm i mean during the when you get teleported inside i mean from the portal you have on the overworld you can just afk and just see what happened over there as this got spawned and then got teleported and yeah you can just ask for your friend and what happens next is you get teleported again over here and then you just come over here and then with the door you just come over here okay so i'm going now going to show you how this one is pulled up so um let's switch to game mode creative okay so um you can also get yourself an elevator like this over here and you can just um chill and your avatar will get um you know over here and then um you can just go back again to the spot you safely without any hassle just like this see zero hearts of them but anyways um and all the blazes come over here and you can just kill them with a fortune tree a sword which will give you a lot of blaze powder and over here is the nether portal your friend can just come over here and then go through uh the portal 
like this and then where's the escape for okay there's the escape for so your friend can just ask you over here just like that and then you on the other hand on the overworld can um yeah I, I showed you how what you do and your friend can come back over here like this uh, just like this and come back over here make sure that he doesn't drop over there if he does he's dead it's going to be a lot of hassle but anyways they all get to come over here and then you just kill them okay and one more thing i'm going to be showing you is this um what you're going to be doing is place some place a water source over here and this, it will be a four four space and leave a three block space over here and a sign over here they just come over here and then they get over there see he's just getting pushed because i was asking up for a long time if you ask for a long time then yeah this will happen the productivity gets decreased so make sure about that or what you can just do is um you know the hopper and the test what you can just do is i mean if you want to increase your afk time and increase your productive not the productivity i mean if you just want to increase your afk time then what you're just going to be needing is just a test over here i hope it doesn't get burnt ah okay and then um I'm going to be just pressing. Ah, okay, they got the break broke up. But anyway, you get the point. You just can ah press my sword. It to kill them. All right. So I might just kill all the spawn. But anyway, um, place a hopper over here, facing I mean to the chest, to the chest. Ah, okay, and make sure it's connected over to there just like that and then get yourself any block you want uh where's the iron block there you go and then just place over here so that they can't see you i mean they can see you you need to also add another slab over here so the distance i mean the it can be i mean i recommend you to make it deep till to the level eight and then they come over here and you just kill them okay and that is for half the entire farm you get the blaze powder from here okay so what happens after this is you get yourself um slime ball okay there was a point over why i made this in the i mean overworld i mean teleported them to the overworld actually i tried a lot and i just couldn't make a magma cream farm that was simple enough for i mean almost everyone to build in survival so i just came up with another i mean double farm which will give us less powders and slimes so um here's the process and over here is what i have you can call a slime chunk this is an entire slime chunk over here and there are many ways you can make a slime chunk farm i mean a slime farm you just make a slime farm over here and you also know i mean the farms will also give you a process of collecting the slimes so you just collect the slime from here and then take it and then you get blade powders over here you take them and then using the crafting table you get yourself the magma queen all right that's the end of the episode hope this helps you in your survival um hope this helps you in your journeys in your survival world and i will be trying to make a, a magma cream farm but in the nether so that it's much easier actually you see in the nether that there are so many i mean they are they are so big they have the observers with the slime blocks making those you know as they push over i mean as they push the pigment and the slimes and the magma things i mean all that different stuff it's, those are so huge but over here i have got a very compact design which makes you a, which gives you not only magma cream but if you want you can also get yourself i mean keep the slimes also the blaze rod 
so it's actually a three in one compact uh, farm and i hope you like it